So guys, I'm going to share how to hack the Wi-Fi password using dictionary attack. So what we're going to do is to capture the authentication process or the four-way handshake between the wireless client and the wireless router. I am doing this in my own lab environment. So please don't test this or do this in any network or networks that you are not authorized. So let's start by enabling the wireless interface into monitor mode. Then check if it's in monitor mode. Okay, it's in monitor mode. Next step is to ch uh, use arrow-ng to find the access point that we're going to exploit. Okay, let's wait. Okay, got it. So this is the access point. This is my laboratory access point. This is the one that we're going to exploit. Since we have these uh, the details, we have the BSSID. MAC address of the access point. Next step is to next step is to be more specific and uh, listen for the for the transactions using the on that access point and save it in my in my computer. So hopefully we're we're going to capture. Uh, a four-way handshake or an authentication process with this command so error dump dash ng bssid is the mac address of the access point the my and then this dash is the channel number one w is the write or save so it will save it in this do, this directory root documents wlan zero mount is my interface so let's start uh, so as you can see, there are no current mm, wireless clients connected. So for this to work, we need to have at least uh, one client authenticated or at least we are going to capture the authentication process or the, or the WPA uh, handshake or the four-way handshake. So I'm going to connect my, access, my mobile device or my sample device. So as you can see, this is my laboratory device as well. This is a mobile device. And uh, it was able to capture the WPA handshake and it is successful. So for now, we can stop this. And then the next step is to use aircraft-ng. Air Air okay. Okay, uh, this aircraft dash ng dash a means the attack mode 2 is for WPA since we are decrypting WPA to ten, uh, encryption. B dash b is the BSSID or the MAC address of the access point. W is uh, the word list path or the path to word list. So it's in my root documents word list and it should be compared in the the packet capture files that were captured a while ago using error dump and asterisk means any or an, uh, a wild card it means uh, any any file or files that end or ends in that cap cap so we'll be compare compared with this uh, word list that txt so let's uh, I am now in my root documents as you can see this is the cap capture file that will be compared so there's only that cap file that will be compared and this is my word list file so uh, technically in real world word list files are can be downloaded into the internet or and has a lot of entries which uh, in which the common passwords will are saved for me uh, tried to create mine but I did not download it in Google I just created a sample word list so as you can see I uh, just created uh, random uh, passwords here so in dictionary attack if the password is not inside this word list file 
the dictionary attack will not work so let's try so as you can see did not uh, the dictionary attack did not work so the password I will edit this one and I'll, I'll just uh, I'll just add manually manually the password here it's Lord commander so WQ is for save and quit and then so so now Lord commander is in the word list as you can see so let's start again so as you can see it's key found password is Lord commander so that's it thank you bye